This is Barney, a businessman from Bethesda. Hello there. Barney is a meeting planner who brings people together for a living. This is Barney's brain, always on the lookout for a business-friendly city to host his annual convention. Barney had never considered Pittsburgh as a possibility because he had never been here until one day when the Visit Pittsburgh sales team invited Barney to Pittsburgh for a visit. Here he was pleasantly surprised by the many places he experienced. I'm pleasantly surprised. Barney's brain was quite pleased to discover a city rich with history, culture, and a ton of character. I'm quite pleased. Most of all, the people of Pittsburgh were warm and welcoming. Here, have a puppy. Barney could have chosen any destination for his convention, but his visit here made his selection, well, a no-brainer. And that's where our story begins with Barney and his decision to bring his business to the Berg. Let's roll! When convention week arrived, so did Barney, on time and very excited. But he didn't come alone. He brought with him a credit card, a big checkbook, and plenty of cash. From the airport, Barney took a taxi downtown, on his way stopping at a convenience store to buy some aftershave, tooth floss, and some beef jerky. And yes, he also bought a lotto ticket. I'm feeling lucky. Arriving at his hotel, Barney paid and of course, tipped the cabbie. After checking in and slipping the bellman a 10 spot, Barney turned up the air conditioning in his room, then called a local restaurant to make a reservation for 22 of his co-workers. After dinner, Barney returned to his room, flossed his teeth, called his family, Hi, took a long, hot shower, and finally crawled into bed under his clean, fresh sheets. Bright and early the next morning, Barney met with the Visit Pittsburgh people along with all his local vendors. Here, all the arrangements and requirements are reviewed and readied for Barney's convention, which included 1,600 hotel rooms, one general session, two exhibit halls, 24 breakout sessions, two banquets, two board of directors meetings, four committee meetings, four lunch functions, four breakfasts, 22 coffee stations, and of course, one big app convention center. Over the next three days, Barney's convention hit the Berg hard, but not without a hitch. On Tuesday, Barney spilled ketchup on his best suit. Donnie the dry cleaner came to his rescue. Oh, please, on Wednesday, a big business report had to be quickly reprinted due to a spelling error. On Thursday, 200 engraved awards for his company's best salesmen were delivered. All week, Barney and his business buddies visited the bars and boutiques. They went to restaurants and retail shops. One night, Barney even took his board of directors on a boat ride. In his free time, Barney managed to take in a ball game, admire a museum, cash in at the casino, partake in a performance, and of course, do a ducky tour. All this from just one visitor and his business-minded brain. That week, Pittsburgh left quite an impression on Barney and Barney on Pittsburgh. But our story doesn't end there. You see, Barney brought with him over 2,000 attendees to the Pittsburgh region. Each brought with them a credit card, a checkbook, and plenty of cold, hard cash. Every year, over 11 million overnight trips to the Pittsburgh area bring in approximately $5.3 billion to our region. That's billion with a B. 1.7 billion in transportation costs, 1 billion in food and beverages, 983 million in recreation activities, 833 million in retail sales, 670 million in lodging revenue. Tourism to Pittsburgh also brings us $320 million every year in additional tax revenue. This money directly generates over 38,000 jobs for regional workers in the tourism industry and indirectly contributes to thousands more. And that's where our story ends. All across the country with our hero Barney and his business associates, who all returned home safely to tell their friends about their wonderful visit to Pittsburgh. Three went home to Canada. <laughs>